Assalamualaikum. I am Smriti from Learn Flutter with Smriti. I hope you learning many things from my tutorial and will learn from this tutorial. So let's see what we'll build today. In this application, we have two expansion or collapsed view. In basic details style, we have product title text field and also original price field discount price field and seller field in original price field we can be input integer or double value and also has validation and same for discount price field here we also can be input integer or double value it has also validation in a seller field we can be input string value and also we have bouncing scroll effect in a described product tile we have highlights field it's a multi-line text field it has also validation and same for description field so that's we will build today in this video i will show you how to implement this ui before starting i will suggest you to watch the full video to have a better idea and you can apply on your own application if you have any questions or suggestions related this topic don't forget to comment below meanwhile don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notification as I am upload new videos every time. In previous tutorial, we built product title and original price field. If we notice, we are unable to see level text by default. But if we click on that, we are able to see. So to fix that, we have a property floating level behavior. In that, we have to set floating level behavior always. That's mean level text will be show always. And we will use that for original price field. As we can see now level text visible. Okay, now I will copy the sized box and text form field widget to create next text field. Now we are going to create discount price field. For the text field, we have to create another controller. Let's copy that. And we will change original to discount. In discount price field, now we will replace the discount price field controller. And keyboard type would be number as it is a price field. And we will change level text discount price and also will change in text and also here would be discount price field controller if the controller is empty then will show this field is record 
returnal that means that will validate the specific text field and also in auto validate mode i have added on user interaction it's used to auto validate form and form field only after each user interaction okay now we can see discount price field here we can be input integer or double value and we will copy that to create next field now we are going to create a seller field and now we will create a controller for that field And now we will replace the seller field controller. And keyboard type would be name as it's a seller field. And now we will change hint text. Example high tech traders. And also we will change level text seller. Here would be seller field controller and other things same. Okay, now we can see seller field. Here we can be input string value. Okay, so in basic details expansion, we created title, original price, discount price, and seller field. Now we will create another expansion to describe product. Let's commenting it to identify which form it's. Now we will create a description form. Let's copy the form widget. So in a description form we have to create another form key. Let's copy that and we will change it to describe product. Now we'll replace the key with the describe product form key. And we will change title, describe product. Now we can see describe product expansion tile. Now I will add sized box to give some height between those expansion tile. We are going to create its first field, highlights field. We will create a controller for that.
Now we'll replace the highlights field controller and keyboard type would be multiline. Now we'll change its hint text and label text. And other things are same, but I will add one more property, maximum lines. It would be null, that means there is no limit to the number of lines. Okay, now we can see there's highlights field. In that field, we can be entered any number of lines. Now you will remove the extra fields. Now we are going to create description field. To create a description field, I will copy the text form field. Ok, in that first, we will create a controller for that field. In description field, now we will replace the description field controller. And keyboard type would be multi line. And now we will change hint text and level text. And in validator also have to change controller. So here we'll add description field controller. And other things are same. So in the description field we also can be entered any number of lines. And also, whenever we scroll, it's like bouncing. And now we will change the icon. So, in the leading property, we will add description icon. As for as today and next part we will upload soon.